Hi guys, this is Abba Rapper. I'm back with Genshin Impact and it's update 4.5. Gonna continue with the potions, the alchemy event. I think I forgot to do all my resin yesterday. I was gonna do this. Oops. I think it'll be okay. Add Astro. Right. Secrets of the mechanical arts. Too profound to con. Let me just. Oh, come on. All right, I'll do it later. How's the potion coming? Have you finished? Constitution and wisdom are focused on the last. Oh. I don't have anything. Constitution and wisdom. So blue and green. Sorry, I have a cold, so. I hate that music. Whoa. Let's see if that works. How's the potion coming? Have you finished? Oh, 
I thought you might need more time. But it looks like you've already found the solution. Nice job. Wow. The effect is even more apparent than I imagined. Your many talents just keep on surprising me. On behalf of Don Winery, I would like to make a bulk purchase order for this potion. Oh, and don't worry about the delivery side of things. Elzer will send someone to pick up the potions once they're ready. My plan is to enlist the help of artisans to infuse candles and fragrances with the effects of this potion. Those products will serve as complimentary gifts for customers to enjoy during wine tasting. So you plan to make alchemical potions part of the wine drinking experience itself. Interesting. And very much in keeping with the Dawn Winery's way of doing business. If our potion was enough to impress Master D. Luke, Paimon's sure regular customers are gonna be even more amazed! Well, there's still work to be done, so I should probably head out. It'll take some time before we know exactly what the commercial impact of this combination will be. In any case, it's been a pleasure working with you. Here's hoping our two businesses will have a long and successful partnership. I hope those orders will keep on rolling in, for both our sakes. Oh, and if you have some time, you should stop by Angel Share to see your masterpiece in action. For sure! Paimon can't wait! We'll see you next time, Master D. Luke! The music is driving me crazy. Charisma, Fragrant, Constitution, Strength. left in this phase. Yeah! 
If you are present, wisdom, strength, charisma, and wisdom, wisdom, and strength. Have wisdom and strength, charisma, and wisdom have both but let's just make another I guess wisdom Unoccupied. Perhaps we could stop a while at one's abode for some repose and conversation. Charisma, wisdom, fragrant wisdom. Charisma, fragrant wisdom.
wisdom strength endurance Wow. Dexterity and wisdom, I think. Dexterity.
I don't understand. How do I get to the next? What are operation cycles? I don't... Okay, finally. A merchant is here. Uh, Paimon's not sure they're from Mondstadt, though. Let's go check it out! Wish I could shut that music off. It's driving me batty. Second, at least. Hello there! The name's Atafe. I'm a traveling merchant from Sumeru. Great to meet you! Whoa, you've made quite the journey! Guess news of our humble shop has already spread to all four corners of Tibet! Paimon's practically a sales whiz! She can sell water to a fish! <laughs> <laughs> I have to agree. This venture of yours is becoming quite well known. In fact, many well-informed merchants have heard word of your potion-selling endeavor. But most people are still not willing to take a risk on such a rare commodity. If you ask me, though, when the opportunity knocks, you've got to be ready to answer. That's how you make the big Mora. Although the general public still doesn't know much about alchemical potions right now, with a little effort and marketing on your side, you can carve out a nice space in the market for yourself. Once that happens, the Mora will just keep on flowing. Once you've generated enough demand, you could even increase your prices tenfold. <laughs> With that kind of profit, you could even take the rest of the year off if you wanted. Tenfold? Are you serious? <laughs> as long as the demand is there, people will pay anything. You could say it's a sort of mutual agreement between consumer and supplier. 
With the way you talk, Paimon can't help but be reminded of a certain other Mora obsessed merchant. Wait, you did say you were from Sumeru. Maybe you know her. Ever met Dory? Wait, you mean Lord Songama Bay? One of the most famous merchants in all of Sumeru? That Dory? You know her? Wow, Lord Songama Bay is one of my biggest idols. Her business sense and dedication to making Mora has always been one of my greatest inspirations. I was even lucky enough to visit the palace of Alcazarzare once. It truly is a magnificent sight. One day, I hope to be just like her. Up to my ears and more Mora than I can count. <laughs> uh, looks like we lost her. Uh, should Paimon snap her out of it? Or... <sighs> Thank you. That means a lot. Back to where we were then. I believe I was telling you how we can make some big Mora together. The idea is actually pretty simple. You produce the potions, provide me with a regular supply, and I'll help you sell them across to Vat. If that sounds good to you, then we should talk more in depth about what kinds of potions to sell this time around. According to my keen market sense, these are the kinds of potions that are currently in demand. are made new. Let's do a charisma, maybe?
stone. Why is it not giving me charisma? Why am I not getting charisma from this? Made them look the same almost. Nice. Hi, you two. It's been a while, hasn't it? Oh, you're back! Wait, that must mean there's a new exam! Yep. It's time for the advanced exam. This one will be harder than previous exams, but I'm sure you'll do just fine. I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. I actually had Mr. Albedo take a look at your previous potions. He was a bit amazed that someone so new to potion making could already produce such an impressive result. He even told me that, for someone of your talent, we could stand to set harder questions. Wow! Recognition feels nice and all, but Paimon feels even more pressure now. If we don't pass this time, it'll be super embarrassing. Don't worry too much about that. 
Lots of things in life require a couple of tries before you get it right. When I first started working as Mr. Albedo's assistant, all sorts of unexpected things would go wrong during my experiments. For example, when I was studying the properties of mist flowers, I accidentally froze all the equipment in the lab. I basically turned them into ice sculptures. Our precision instruments were nearly ruined beyond repair. Another time, I let a reagent boil for a little bit too long, and all the precious ingredients inside got charred to pieces. The smell was so bad, several nights passing by thought the lab had caught fire. <sighs> Back then, I would get really hard on myself whenever things went wrong. But eventually I realized that, in order to make new discoveries, you have to accept the risk of failure. Fear of making mistakes will prevent you from truly going after what it is that you want. You're absolutely right! Hey, you're actually really good at motivating people! <laughs> it's just my experience talking. I've spent a lot of time doing research in the lab after all. Anyway, as long as you try, you'll learn something valuable from the experience. All right, whenever you're ready, we can go ahead and proceed with the advanced exam. Should I do it now? Wisdom. Fragrance. have enough. Whenever you're ready, we can... Five different types of ingredients. I'm supposed to get fragrant from this. This is fragrant, but it's not wisdom. I just work on this tomorrow.
Let's try wisdom and strength. That's not wisdom. If you are presently unoccupied. Yeah! Skyward! So wisdom, dexterity, endurance. Just enhance them all at once. Yeah. 
Nice. designed to be a bit difficult. You actually already have a lot of experience under your belt. I'm sure you just made a few silly mistakes. Maybe you exhausted yourself from working too hard recently. In any case, don't worry about it. We'll continue with the exam once you take a much needed break. Oh, well, she left. I thought I could just continue with the exam when I was yeah. to. Healing? Dexterity.
To upgrade them. Yeah, Skyward. I think that's the only one I can upgrade. I don't know. Skyward. Whoa. So you're the ones behind the potion shop I've heard so much about. When it comes to fulfilling requests, I heard the customer's wish is practically your command. Huh? Goro? Where did you come from? Oh, and Kirara's here too! What are you guys doing in Mondstadt? <laughs> Comania Express operates all across Tavat, so I'm always on the road. I'm actually pretty familiar with Mondstadt from my trips here in the past. General Goro, on the other hand... Seems to still be getting the lay of the land. He got lost not too far from here. <clears throat> well, I would normally be provided with ample intel before carrying out an operation in a foreign territory. But Watatsumi Island isn't exactly home to many people who've been to Mondstadt. I wasn't even able to obtain a map of the region. I've basically had to perform initial reconnaissance in the middle of a formal operation. Not exactly ideal conditions for an air-free mission. <laughs> Affirmative, General. Next time, I'll procure the most detailed map available and make sure you have it at your disposal from Mission Outset. Over and out. Uh, you can drop the formalities, Kirara. I don't expect you to report back to me like I'm your commanding officer. We hired you as a consultant. It wouldn't be fair to treat you like one of my soldiers. Hey now, it's not like this is some one-sided partnership. We agreed, right? In exchange for my services, you'll help promote our business to the people of Watatsumi Island. Your good word will be integral in helping Komania Express become people's first choice for all their delivery needs. Our future business is counting on you. Back to Paimon's question, though. You still haven't told us what you're doing in Mondstadt. You mentioned something about a mission? Ah, uh, yes. It's a funny story, actually. Recently, Watatsumi Island has been looking for ways to increase transportation efficiency. Basically, this means improving the operations of our cargo ships. So, we decided to send teams across to VAT to learn about the most advanced techniques different nations have to offer. We had just wrapped up our trip to Liyue when we heard word of your mysterious potion shop. So, we decided to postpone our return journey for a bit and come check it out. Turns out it was the right choice. Well, Paimon's gotta say, you practically hit the jackpot by coming here. We've got stuff you can't find anywhere else. Oh, more customers from abroad. <laughs> My cuties sure are popular. You really do have friends all over Tavat. Hmm, looking at your two friends here, I can't help but be reminded of my dear little wolf cub. You know what? I should introduce you sometime. For some reason I have a feeling the three of you would really hit it off. In fact, once you've wrapped up your potion purchasing, why don't you both join me and my cuties for afternoon tea? I'll even bring my student along. Afternoon tea? Sounds great! I could really use some refreshments. Long days of deliveries always leave me parched. Ugh. Thanks for the invitation. Huh. Something tells me you're not going to take no for an answer. <laughs> Wait, why does this feel so familiar? Uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, Traveler, care to make some introductions? G -g guardian Mage? Wow, what an impressive title. Is it a position similar to that of a Guji? Wait, could it be that I'm in the presence of someone as high-ranking as Her Excellency, like Lady Sanganomiya herself? Honestly, Traveler, you're gonna give the guy a heart attack. Don't be nervous, Goro. That's just, uh, 
a nickname. Her real name is Lisa. She works as the librarian here in Mondstadt, and she's also the person in charge of our shop. Lisa, this is Goro. He's a super powerful general from Watatsumi Island. And this is Kirara. She's a super punctual delivery woman with Komania Express. Kirara. Hmm, the name sounds familiar. Ah, oh, the collection of books from Inazuma that I have in the library. You were the one who delivered them, yes? What a helpful little gem you are. <laughs> I'm glad our paths have crossed again, Miss Lisa. I hope you'll consider me for future delivery jobs as well. As for my cutie's other acquaintance, I believe I've read a few articles about you, General Goro. I seem to recall more than a few references to your empathetic nature and skillful approach to leading your troops. Let me guess, your troops are also the focus of your potion inquiry here today? Exactly! Commercial activity between Watsutsumi Island and other regions has been on the rise recently. The workload has increased so much, both the soldiers who work on our shipping convoys and the sailors who work on the merchant vessels are struggling to keep up. What would really come in handy would be a potion that could help them handle their intense workload. Like, one that could enhance their energy and physical strength. Okay, I could definitely use a potion like that as well. When I'm out on a long delivery, you wouldn't believe how tired my legs would get from trekking across all that rugged terrain. Not to mention the damage it does to my paws. My cutie should be more than familiar with that kind of potion by now. I'm sure they'll have it done in no time. Yep, leave it to us. Well, while you two hop to it, I'm gonna find an idle knight to deliver a letter to my little wolf cub and ask him to treat us to the pleasure of his company. <laughs> Once my cuties are done brewing a potion that satisfies your needs, we'll all celebrate over afternoon tea. <laughs> afternoon tea on the banks of Cider Lake. Oh, I wonder what that'll be like. Oh, I can't wait to find out. <sighs> I'm just glad I finally found a way to help my troops. <laughs> I thought I told you this before, that if you want to pass through the forest undetected, you're going to want to wet your tails. Wet fur doesn't get snagged on branches and twigs as easily as dry fur. You'll be able to slip on by, and your enemies will be none the wiser. <sighs> Nuh-uh. That's not going to happen. I can't stand my tails wet. I'd be better off uh, tying them in a knot or something. Or better yet, improving my fighting skills so that I don't have to sneak by them in the first place. Oh, you're here. How's the potion coming? Well, I'm rooting for you. I've seen how capable you are. No way a few alchemical roadblocks can stand in your way. Okay. I'm gonna take a break. Um, let me just read stuff. Thank you for comp- Okay. Genshin Impact. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.